Hello everyone, welcome to Cyberwise. In this video, we're gonna learn DDoS attack on any server or website to shut down. In this basic example, you can try with a permission. All right, so let's get started. Before that, this is only for education purpose. Do not try to hack or harm anyone, and a lot of people going jail for this. Do don't harm anyone without their permission. First thing, you need a Kali machine and a website or server you want to attack. I have mine ready, so let's get started. We have two methods I am going to show you. First tools we're going to use HPing3 tool. Every Kali Linux has that tool. Alright, so I am going to go to root and type this command HPing3. HPing3 is a powerful tool for network security testing. It's mainly used for crafting and sending custom TCP IP packets. Copy this command ping 3d data i am going to send 10000 data to the server and the port would be p8080s flood and the target ip this how you use hping to attack any server or website now i'm going to check my server's ping to see if there is any effect Alright, I am just going to copy this, because we use only one, it was an effect that must, so we're going to use as many as can. I think that's enough. Now let's check our target. I'll refresh my website. See, it's not loading. Website is having hard time. It's crazy. He's definitely struggling. He's dying. So again, this is where out attacks become more sophisticated. We are using a sin flood attack to kind of exploit the TCP protocol the way it is supposed to work, but we make it bad doing a lot of handshake. Now let's check YouTube to compare. YouTube works fine, but my website is down. My website is still struggling. He's like, stop the attack. Let me try to open YouTube one more time. Let me check from Kali to see if the website is still up or not. Nah. All right, still now working. He's struggling a lot. That's how it works with this basic method. Method two, Python script. Now let me show you an alternative using a Python script. I've written a simple DDoS script for this purpose. First, let me open the script. Type nano d.pi. You'll need the target IP and port. If you're unsure of the port, you can use nmap to scan it. Here's the script I created. Like the first method, I'll flood the server with requests. Let's start the attack now. We'll do the same thing here using as many scripts as we can. think that's enough. Hit refresh. Still not working. He's struggling. This is most basic Python script. You can try or play with it. Let me show you something else using Wireshark. When someone launches an attack on your server, this is what it looks like in Wireshark. See that's how it's look. So many requests. It is not going to stop until we stop attack. 
that's how you can spy or see your server and see what is going on. Now let me close this wire shard. You'll see warnings when the attack begins. That's how DDoS attack works. I have one more script, let me show you. This method sends as many threads as you need to the target server. You just specify the IP and port, let me show you the script first. This is the script. I just need change the IP and port. So, what are threads? In programming, threads allow a program to run multiple operations at the same time. For example, instead of sending one request at a time to a website, we can use threads to send multiple requests simultaneously. Think of it like a restaurant. One waiter taking orders from all the tables would take forever. But if there are multiple waiters, they can each serve different tables at the same time, making everything run smoother and faster. That's exactly how threads work in a program. We're going to do same here as we did before. Run Python script as many as we can. I am going to show how does it look in Wireshark. Here's a Wireshark capture showing a flood of TCP requests. We sent multiple threads to the server which led to retransmissions. The server is having trouble keeping up and that's why we see repeated packets. This is how high traffic can affect server performance and cause delays. That's it for today's tutorial. This is just for educational purposes. Do not attack unless you have permission. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new, and if you liked the video, hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.